So hello everyone and welcome to Paper Sorcerer with Kide. This is a Kickstarter project that I backed a long time ago already. And it has been finished for at least a few months in the start of this year or in the end of the last year. I'm not 100% sure now, but I just haven't had the time to actually get into it. I have been planning to play it though. It's only about 5 euros on Steam, so if you're interested in an old high school RPG with turn-based combat, you should really give it a look. I originally wanted to pack this game in Kickstarter because of its aesthetics, which I thought that were very nice overall. And the atmosphere is also pretty nice looking anyways. And of course, it's an old school RPG with uh, turn-based combat. And it has some adventure game elements, like some environmental puzzles. So that's something that you can expect. The idea of the game, as I know, is that you are this sorcerer. And your party will be consisting of summons that you will be summoning to aid you. Like different kind of monsters that you can then choose which monster you're gonna be using. And your the monsters are also going to be gaining experience, I think. While they adventure. But it's going to be most likely a difficult game. So it's going to be interesting. I'm gonna try to play in the hardest difficulty, but probably I should be saving relatively often. Especially when I'm just getting... Well, as I said, I haven't played this yet. This is going to be a blind let's play, so we'll see how things will be going. But as I said, if this give is interesting, if you see my gameplay as interesting, then do give it a look. It's very cheap. Pretty cheap in Steam, so... You give it a look and a new game now then. Um, let's just... I'm not sure what that is. No, 198 is uh, difficulty level. is <laughs> different than the hard difficulty level. I guess we could try that even though I haven't played games during that time. So, well, let, let's give it a time. Once there was a sorcerer who lived in a tower with an apprentice. The sorcerer terrorized the land with evil minions until one day they roamed no more. At nine ha night, however, lights could still be seen burning in the windows of the dark tower. The king saw this was his chance to attack the sorcerer directly. He gathered four loyals and highly skilled subjects, entrusting them with a powerful, an artifact that would seal away the sorcerer, ending his reign of terror once and for all. On the way, the group traveled dark caverns, poisonous marshes, and ancient ruins. They climbed the dark tower floor by floor, besieged by evil minions at every step. Here they go. Once they reached the top, they confronted the sorcerer and activated the artifact. In a blinding flash of light, sorcerer and minions went somewhere, <laughs> could disappear. However, that is just the beginning of our tale. So, where do we begin now then? Let's see. You awaken with the start. Reflexively trying to cast a spell that dies in your throat when you see your surroundings. The last thing you remember was fighting four of the king's lapdogs. Ben on the warrior, Richards the ranger, Akimi the mage, and Yavran the priest. They had a book that glowed with a fearsome light. You aren't the type to be easily scared. But as you looked into that light, you felt truly terrified like you never have before. But you have all your arms, legs, fingers and senses intact, so things could always be worse. In checking to make sure you are intact, you confirm you are a woman. Let's be a woman. The first thing your figure should do is find out where you are. Use moving to move a look about with the mouse, click on things to interact with them. Ooh. Yes, here we are. I can see a bed. Even though you have only been conscious for a short amount of time, you feel extremely tired. Do you want to rest for a bit? No, not yet. You decide to bravely soldier on despite your fatigue. 
To advance dialog, press the spacebar or click to the next button. To open the menu, press the M or escape buttons. Yes. In the upper right corner, an option to search will occasionally appear. Press the spacebar to search an area. This can give you additional details about room and sometimes reveal secrets. Okay. Search. You feel some kind of subtle force in this room. It's making it difficult to concentrate. And your head feels all fuzzy. You can slowly feel your magic seeping away, along with your will to stand, escape, or do anything that doesn't yield on laying down. Whatever kind of magic this is, it's truly insidious. You feel yourself nodding off already. You should probably lie down before you hurt yourself. Should I really? Is there any other way to go anywhere? Probably then not, I guess. We will try to be sleeping. Ah, I guess so. It doesn't take long before you feel yourself sleeping in, slipping into a deep sleep. Right before you begin to slumber, however, you have the distinct impression you're being watched. You have a dream where you're talking with some friends you had when you were younger. But the room you're talking in is unfamiliar, with plain stone walls and a table with several packs on it. When you open the pack in the center, a snake jumps out and slithers out of the room. When you awaken, there's a mouse sitting on the end of your bed, staring at you. Ooh, a mouse. You're an interesting one. A sorcerer, that's some dark magic. Yes. Binding souls and calling them when needed. That can be dangerous power. Nice picture. Dangerous, but useful. What do you want? I've been waiting for someone like you. Why? I would like to escape, and I think you can help me. Hmm, maybe I can. Right now you have been sealed inside a prison of sorts. The king has been trapping threats to the kingdom here for decades to come. I think I know a way to escape, but I can't do it alone, and a sorcerer like you is just what I need. Who are you, mouse? If you would be willing to help me, I would be able to ensure we both get out. <laughs> I don't know how much I trust a talking mouse. Very well, feel free to rot in here. This is your last chance. I won't be back. Will you help me? <laughs> okay, you did want to ask nonetheless. I was thinking that I could have asked something more or something, but okay, just very well. I'll help you. Excellent. The first thing you need to do is get out of this cell block. Suddenly a burst of intense magic energy fills the room. Ooh, smoke. The oppressive force that was draining your magic is gone, as is the mouse. You hear a whispery voice in your mind. I will find you again soon. Okay then, you will find me again soon. But yes, as I said, I like the overall aesthetics of the game. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former trolls to aid you in your escape. Choose wisely. They will function as your party for the rest of your adventure here. Who would I want to accompany me? So, fearful, fast, unarmed attacker. Minotaur, powerful berserker, skeleton, stalwart defender, vampire is life training healer, ghost posters the party and cripples the enemy. Hmm. Imp, a mix of magical attacks and effects, goblin is a sneaky thief, cultist is a defensive healer, which is a powerful healing, and curses. Troll is a deadly assassin, shadow is unpredictable but powerful magic attacks. Abomination defends the party from magic attacks. What would I want to do? Uh, let's pick a shadow, I want shadows. The shadow, an unpredictable ally from another plane, it uses shadow magic to blast your foes. 
The shadow is based around dealing large amount of magic damage. While the damage range is very wide, many of the shadow's abilities cause extremely high amounts of damage. Example skills Shadow Packlass attack using the target's own offensive ability to, against him. Shadow Blaze cause varying amounts of fire damage. Can equip two accessories. Would you like to summon the shadow? Hmm, not yet. Maybe I should actually look a little bit more what I would want to get. Uh, what about the coast? The coast, a terrifying specter from beyond the grave, uses thick daggers to weaken the enemy and songs to bolster the party. The coast specialty is status effects. While not directly damaging the cause, coast skills can still be devastating to an enemy party in addition to having some of the strongest buffs in the game. Shane of the dead paralyzed the enemy party. Pretty nice. Genius of morality, how are the enemy party's resistance to physical attacks? Chains and two accessories. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, what about... what about... Werewolf. Nice pictures, I like those. They do fit the full... Uh, well, full game. A fair wolf, also known as the Swords, a fast and brutal warrior who fights without weapons and lightly armored. Using savage hand-to-hand -hand strikes to take down his foes and beneficial holes to bolster the party, the fearful is balanced character that can fit well in any party composition. Example skills is Hurricane Claw, attack that hits all enemies, low cooldown time and generates energy but has a chance to miss. Black Moon Hall temporarily raises the party's strength, costs 1 energy. Light armor and 2 accessories. Interesting. Well, there's a lot of good choices, but maybe I'll just go with my first instinct and just take the shadow for now. And we'll see about something else at some other point. And it's a fun picture with red in it. Uh, can equip two accessories at least. Let's just summon it. Has been summoned. Use him well. Let's save at this point, I would say. Uh, where could I save there? File one, yes. Uh, did I write anything into there? Could I write? Mm, not sure. Well, it's there nonetheless. So let's just go back. So here we are, the sorcerer, and then we have a shadow. With at least some more hit points than what we have. Well. As soon as you pass through the doorway, you see a single guard barreling down the hallway towards you. Oh no. Hey you, how did you get out of your cell? What do you do? Hail the guard. <laughs> In the nicest tone possible, you call out to him. The door just kind of opened by itself. It wasn't my fault. In response, the guard brandishes his mace and continues his charge. You can tell by the look of his face he's the kind of man who's got something to prove. <laughs> Combat is turn paste. Select the option you want with the mouse. Right click to back out of any menu. Okay, right click and left. Yeah, select. Spacebar can be used to quickly select basic attack. Okay. Energy is used when performing skills and regenerates at the rate of one per round. Energy not used in combat can be used outside of battle for healing skills and the like. Or healing skills and the like. To do thing, to do this, go to the skills section of the menu. The small dice icon next to each skill in the menu shows how many turns that skill takes to recharge. For example, three means that skill takes three turns to recharge. To see these messages again, go to the info section of the menu. Well, it's a fight. Shadow, what skills do you actually have? I should lower the music actually. This is a little bit too loud. Mm, yeah, energy. This actually increases magic and energy level 1. Manifestation. Shadow Packlass deals damage based on target stats. Fire damage to all enemies. Fire damage is wide range but high damage potential. Let's try that. Into the guard, of course. Do you do it? I have to pick it from there apparently. So it will be doing it, I guess. 
And then what about you, sorcerer? Beam of Arcane Bolt. Let's at least do it once. Yeah. Fire damage. 80 points. Ouch. And what about us? Nice hand. Nine hit points. That was pretty nice. Sorcerer. Let's do that again. That was efficient. And yes, against it. What about the shadow? Could you be increasing the energy? For us. Yeah. Let's try to do that. Beam of arcane energy. Good. Will you still do the... You got 5 gems, you found 3 food and coins, 150 experience gained. Of course, there's the problem that we used a lot of energy during that, but... Well, it was the very first, so in a way I guess it's fine. But I have to get the... Is there a way that I could just easily... Get the music a little bit lower? I guess I could save and just come back here soon. So, I'll do that. Anyways, there are some weird uh, issues with the music, at least at some point when I am recording, when it kind of uh, breaks down a little bit at some point. So, I'll have to look into that a little bit. Maybe use some other music at some point if it continues too much. But I'll be putting the low voice a little bit lower. See you, see you soon. So, I am back. The music should be at least a little bit lower. The door is sealed and won't open. From the other side, you hear the sounds of loud snoring. Not too surprised. About that. The door is sealed and won't open. There was something that I could have explored if I would have just noticed the do it at that point. Which I didn't, so I guess it's too late now. Get the sickening feeling of some inhuman intelligence trying to probe your mind. Inhuman intelligence. Interesting. Uh, now I'm just sad that I didn't get to do that thing. That there would have been a space bar here, but I mm, guess cannot be helped too much. Music changed. Mm, you will have one presence from the other side of the door. Headache. Okay. A lot of bad things in here. Whatever is on the other side of the door, you are not sure it's not human. Hmm. The door is sealed and won't open. No sound comes from inside. Sealed and won't open. No sounds. Interesting. Well. The very first door. Hmm. What's in here? Inside this chest is a veritable armory. However, the quality is dubious at best. And you get the impression they were either being sent for repairs or to get scrapped. You find a worthless iron staff, a shameful iron axe, a worn iron decker, and a chunky lawn sword. A dented iron mace, a shorted blade sword, a rusty iron chain, a mix it for hammer, a poorly made cutter, and an assortment of old rags to trip yourself in. You should make sure to equip your character with some basic gear. To equip your characters, look at their stats and skills and so on. Yeah, okay. What about this thing? Smells chest is locked. Nothing specific that I could try to explore here, I don't think so. Um, uh, examine. Decent craftsmanship, but the lock looks a little plain. Interesting. Well, leave it alone for now. Let's just see about these items, weapons. I guess we should be using the worthless iron staff. <laughs> it at least gives plus one magic. Um, just use it. Yeah, good. Racks, yay. And then there's the accessories. We don't have any accessories, though, unfortunately. Uh, can we just, like, uh, get the other the shadow up into here? Q. 
skills. If you use the skill, could you do the... Yeah. No, I don't think there's actually anything that you could do. What about you? Yeah, nothing you could do either. What about you, Shadow? Can you get any equipment? Nope. No accessories at the moment, so can't help that. Well, at least we have a few basic items. Well, let's have a look into this. Use item, I don't think I have anything, yeah. Open? It won't open due to the lock, yeah. And I don't have anything to really lock pick it with. There's a door in that direction and a door in this direction. Let's go to the left first. See what's in here. A pair of guards are standing around murmuring. As soon as you enter, they turn to face you. Ah. The shocked look on their faces is absolutely priceless. However, they quickly regain their composure and rush in to attack. Other than hit points and energy, there is one other thing you need to keep track of in combat. Devon is character's defense, it's subtracted from any damage inflicted. For example, if a card attacks you for 10 damage and you have 4 defense, then damage for defense, 6 points is taken off the hit points. Yeah. It goes down with each hit but is restored after battle. If an attack causes 0 damage, it's because the attack the target defense is higher than the damage caused. It can increase through armor and certain skills. Uh, yeah. 